You will hear living funerals also referred to as funerals for the living or living wakes. And I think we, we use the term living funerals loosely because it's something that people have seen in the media and they understand it. But what I want people to know is that they can be anything you need them to be. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are attending your own funeral, you're sat in an aisle, there's someone at the front talking about you, and you're listening to your own eulogy. It doesn't have to be like that. It can be like a party before you die, or it can be something really, really simple. So when people ask me, what is a living funeral? I have to say that they're very diverse occasions. The thing that they have in common is that the person knows that they are near the end of their life and they are preparing for that. Very often they don't want a funeral at all. And they might want to say goodbye to their people or they might just want to have everyone gather to tell their stories. And one of the things that I'm most passionate about with living funerals is that people get to process their grief, they get to look at the photographs, they get to tell the stories, and the mischief comes out and everybody laughs and everybody has a drink and they eat their favorite food. But it's not an elephant in the room. So they're not parties where you don't identify what it's for and there's no clear intention. There's no one thinking, I might never see this person again, but I don't want to say anything. It's a place where you can say it and you can say your goodbyes and you can say, do you remember that thing we did? Remember that holiday, remember that Christmas? And you can do it there. So people that have living funerals want to be there and you can have them anywhere. You can have them in a hospice room. You can have them in your care home. You don't have to be having a rave or some kind of mad festival in a, in a, in a forest. So that's what living funerals are.